it is great to see you. I know that you've all popped on a little bit early so that we can say hi to everyone. Um, we have had a ton of emails overnight from you guys saying that you wanted to come on early and you wanted to see if we could say hi to you. And we would love to say hi. It's Teacher Matina here for those from Handy Cross. And Windsor, guys, you will know me from every Saturday morning at the Little Gym Windsor. So we have had lots of wonderful beasties and super beasties and their siblings get in touch. And we have Maya and Holly. Hello, Maya. Hello, Holly. It's really lovely to see you this morning. I hope you've been doing your roles at home. We have Rocco and Henry as well. Hi, guys. Nice to see you, boys. And we have Maya and her little brother, Leo. Hi, Leo. Good to see you, Maya. We also have Lucia and I'm sure Elsie, who's been doing some balancing at home. We have our brothers, Artie and Teddy. Hi there, boys. It's nice to see you. And we have Henrietta and Xanthopy. Hello, ladies. I'm sure you've been doing lots of cartwheels as well. Aria, hello. Thank you for sending us the video of your swinging and her big brother, Karen. Now, I did say to you, we might get a visit from our cheeky little cat, Spotty. Now, Spotty, he's like the Peter Pan of cats. He looks like a kitten, but he's three years old. I'm going to give him to my assistant, Teacher Grace, and she's going to go and pop him back to bed because he, I can tell he's ready for a sleep. There we go. Thank you, Teacher Grace. All right, so Pod Spotty said hi to you as well. So now we have Saru as well, who's dropped us a line. Hi, Saru and Imogen and Phoebe. Hello, guys. How are you? It's nice to see you. We have Nathaniel and we have Darcy as well. Hello, guys. We have James. I'm sure he was wearing a great big grin right now. And we have Indy, Sienna, Alex and Benji. I am sure you guys have lots of energy in the sunshine that we have at the moment. All right, now who else do we have? We have Ottie. Hello there, Ottie. It's nice to see you. We miss you guys. And we have Rosalie and her two brothers. We have Freddie and we have Henry. Hello, guys. I hope you're having lots of fun with mum and dad. We also have Liv. Hi there, Liv. Nice to see you, lovely. And we have Lola, Lottie and Lucas, our three L's, brothers and sisters. Hello there. And Lola's our little beastie from the little Jim Windsor. We have Harry, Zoe, and Eliza. Hello there. Hi, Eliza, my little beastie. How are you doing? And we have Bertie and Felicity. And we also have Gorgeous George. Hello, guys. It's nice to see you as well. So we're going to have some non-members joining very soon. And we're going to start our class for 19 to 36 month olds. Now, it's 10 minutes. It's 10 o'clock, two minutes past 10. So let's Go for it. As usual with our classes, they're going to be a mixture of child development information for parents, but also activities for children to help them develop that foundation that they need for everything that's going to come next. So for those that have just arrived, I'm teacher Matina. I teach at the Little Gyms of Windsor and Handy Cross. Now we teach there all through the week and we can't wait to be back and teaching our kids again. Now our classes are a combination of child development information for you guys, and also movements for the little ones. So today we're going to focus on three things. We're going to focus on getting your child's senses integrating together to help them understand the world. And we're going to be focused on something called their vestibular system. It's all about their balance. It, it functions from the inner ear really. And we need to get all of that liquid moving. Helps them to balance, concentrate, supports their coordination development, and also helps them to be still. And as parents, we want that. The reason that your little ones are quite energetic at this age and they're not particularly still is that they are in one of the fastest stages of learning that they'll have in their entire life. Their great brain is growing exponentially right now. Their body is getting super strong and all of their senses are trying to figure out how to interpret and understand the world. That's called three dimensional learning. And to really give our children the best foundation for the rest of their lives, we need to incorporate learning in all three of those areas. They're super energetic right now because all of that learning at this age comes through their body. Their body is their engine for learning. It's really their first teacher. So let's get moving now with that beautiful body test and start to have some fun. We're gonna do a lot of jumping today, parents, and some rotation to help them develop those senses. So my beasties, are you there? Can you see me, beasties? Beasties, tell me. Did you bring along a teddy today? If you haven't got a teddy, could you go and grab your favourite teddy for me right now? Did you also bring along a stick, any kind of stick, as long as a stick that you can grab with both hands? You could use a wooden spoon. 
I've got a beaten up old drumstick or you could use a broom handle. Did you also bring a towel? Something that you can roll up and you can jump over. All right, my beasties, let's go. So beasties, can you show me how you stand up on your feet? Can you show me how you stand up on your feet? Good job, beasties. I can see you all out there. Well done. Good job. Good standing. Can you stand on one leg? Can you stand on one leg? Good job, beasties. Can you stand on the other leg? Whoa. Good balancing, beasties. Now, parents, your little ones will be at different stages. Some of them might just stand and watch. They're still learning. Just go with it. Oh, fun. Good job. Now, beasties, can you sit down? Come on. Hmm, I've changed my mind. Stand up. Oh, no, I've changed my mind. Sit down again. No, stand up. Oh, no, sit down. Good job, beasties. Some of my beasties will remember that from class, and we always have a good giggle. And it's a really fun way of building those muscles in our legs. Good job, beasties. Can you stand up with me? No more tricks now, I promise. Can you clap your hands? Good job. Can you stomp your feet? Do you remember this one, beasties? Good job. Can you go round and round and round? Good job, beasties. Now, parents, the reason that we call our little toddlers beasties, our trivic toddlers, is because our class for that age is called our beast and our super beast. Are you ready, beasties, to clap with me one more time? One, two, three. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. And turn around and round to the feet. Everybody jump. Can you jump with me, beasties? Everybody jump. Everybody jump. Today. Good job, beasties. Keep on jumping. Now, parents, some of your little ones will just be moving their knees. That is still jumping. Some will be lifting up one foot. That is still jumping. Some might be lifting up oh, two feet at different times and others will be jumping with two feet. Now, it usually takes quite a long time to master jumping and jumping with two feet. Often it's around three or four years of age. So wherever they are from watching, bending their knees through to jumping, they're on the right track. Good job. Now my beasties, freeze. Beasties, this time, do you think you can jump side to side with me? Can you jump side to side? Are you ready? Let's go. Oh. And oh. good job, beasties. Well done. I love it. Good job. Now, beasties, freeze. Do you think you can clap your hands with me one more time? One, two, three. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. And turn around and round to the beat. Everybody jump. Can you jump forwards? Whoop! Well done, I saw that, George. Can you jump back? Now that's a really tricky one, parents, so your little ones may need some help. And jump forwards and jump back. Now, beasties, did you bring your little towel? It can be a little towel, it can be a big towel, but what we're going to do is roll it up. Can you roll your towel up just like teacher Matina? Good job, beasties. Now let's put that towel down on the floor and see if we can jump all the way over the top. Now parents, just go with it. However they get over that towel is okay because they are still learning. Good job, beasties. Well done. Good job. Now, I think for some of you that's a little bit too easy. Hmm. Have you got your favourite teddy? Have you got your favourite teddy? Let's put our favourite teddy down. And let's give our favourite teddy some fun. Are you ready? Shall we jump over our favourite teddy? You ready? And jump. Good job, beasties. And whoop. well done. Can you go over the top? Whoop. Good job. Whoop. Beasties, well done. Keep on jumping, beasties, because I'm going to talk to your mums and dads. Whoop. Now, when your little one is jumping, mums and dads, all of that liquid in their inner ear is going crazy. Great, great. It's just going crazy. It's swirling around. And when they stop, they sometimes feel a little bit dizzy. 
that's great. We want them to feel dizzy because when they feel dizzy, it means that they have to try and find their equilibrium again. And that's what helps develop their vestibular system. Good job, my beasties. Well done. Whew. I think on such a hot morning, it's time to give ourselves a big clap. Well done. Beasties, can you give yourselves a pat on the back? Good job, mums and dads, if they can't reach, give them a big pat, give them a rub on the back. Good job. Beasties, do you think you can clap your hands up high? Can you clap them behind your head? Good job, that's a bit trickier, isn't it? That's really hard. Can you clap them behind your back? That's really tricky. We have to figure out where our hands are to meet them together. Well done, beasties. Good job. Now, beasties. I think it's time to get a little bit dizzier. What do you think? Should we do some forward rolls? I know we all love rolling. Come along and do some rolls with me. You ready? All right, my beasties. Now, I love my favourite teddy. And I love to play peekaboo with my favourite teddy. I'm going to use my teddy today to help me remember to tuck my head. Can you see my teddy? He's just here. Now, beasties, can you go and get your favourite teddy and can you pop him on the ground? Have you got him? Have you got your favourite teddy? Good job, beasties. Well done. Good job. Now, beasties, I'm going to stand in a straddle like a big pizza slice and I'm going to look at my teddy through my legs and I'm going to give him a tickle. Can you give your teddy a tickle too? Tickle, 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 tickle. Good job. Can you look at him through your legs and give him a tickle, 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 tickle? Good job. Parents, when our little ones are doing their rolls, we always want them to roll on the back of their heads and their necks, not on the crown. It makes us frown. All right, are you ready? Hands high, beasties. Hands down. And tickle your teddy. Now, teacher Grace is going to come over and we're going to show you how to spot your little ones if you're not used to doing your forward rolls. For those of our members that are already doing their forward rolls, this is Teacher Grace. You might know, uh, remember her from um, Sunday classes where she does work experience. She's going to look at her teddy. She's going to put her hands on the ground. Tuck her head. And as a grown-up supporting your little one at home, you can tuck their head and you can hold them by the hips and help them to roll around. It makes it much easier for you if they've got a teddy to look at between their legs because they naturally tuck. So keep on rolling and have lots and lots of fun. For our members that are used to our rolls in class, your little ones put their legs together, look at their tummies and roll. Woo! That was a big roll. Can you do some rolling, Holly? Can you do some rolling? Show me your rolling, Eliza. Do you do some rolling too? As a next step, you can even do some jumps like we were doing earlier and then a roll. Are you ready? Shall we go two jumps? One, two. Jump, jump, and roll. Whoa. Now my inner ears are going Brrr. It's fantastic. And it will help to develop your little one's concentration, coordination, all that good stuff that the vestibular system supports. Well done, my beasties. Did you have fun rolling? Are some of you still rolling out there? You can keep rolling. I'll give you five more seconds. Can you count to five with me? One, two, three, four, five. Good job, beasties, and freeze. Beasties, let's do our kid skids to get super strong tummy muscles and arm muscles to help with our body control and our writing and making marks and doing up buttons and all those things we need those fine motor skills for. So come on over, Teacher Grace. She's going to help us show you how to do a kid's skid. These are one of my favourite things in class because they are so good for our children's bodies, but they're also so much fun. And whenever we do them, the class is full of laughter. It is brilliant. So Grace is going to lie down on our yellow mat. Good job. Thank you, Grace. I've got our, I don't know if you can see, my little drumstick. She's going to hold it in her hands. I am going to just put my fingers lightly on hers just to help her learn to grasp. And then I'm going to pull her around the floor. Now my toddler is a bit heavier than yours. She's a little bit older. 
but you can have a great time with this skill, dragging your little one around the floor. It's really good fun. Now, when you're dragging them, boop, 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 you can even, if they're holding on tight enough, start to lift them up so that their feet are off the floor and you can take them for a spin. Now, the reason these muscles in our arms are super important is because they actually control these guys down here. And if these aren't strong, then our little ones find it hard to optimize their fine motor skills to feed themselves, knife and fork, spoon, brush their teeth, do their buttons, and of course, for school later on. And we want to make school and everything else that comes next as easy for them as possible and to help them be as successful as they can. Now, the other thing that's super important is our core muscles. And we are going to show you how you can use your broomstick, your choo -choo -choo wooden spoon to develop your little one's cores. So come on over, Teacher Grace. This time, Teacher Grace is gonna lie down again. There we go. She's gonna hold the stick again. But this time, I am in front of her. Now, there are two ways that you can do this. You can pull your little one up into a sit-up, let their tummy do some of the work, or you can actually bend their legs, pull them into a sit-up, ready, one, two, three, lift them all the way to standing, but get them doing some of the work as well, good job. And if they're super strong and they've got a great grip, you can again lift them up off the ground. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. So that they're actually swinging in the air, and you can gently take them, for a lovely little ride. It's super good fun. There's nothing better than feeling like you're swinging through the air. That's why we become gymnasts, because it feels amazing to fly through that air. So not only is it great for their development, it is also great fun as well. Now, when you've finished those skills, give them a big cuddle, give them a tickle, give them a rough house around, give them a wrestle. That is great for your developing child. It doesn't only develop their body, it develops all of their senses, and it also helps to develop their brains. So it's fun for us, but it's also great fun for them. Oh, wow, cheapers! I think we've been going for nearly 20 minutes, Beasties. I've had so much fun, but I don't want to finish just yet because I know so many of you have asked for us to do the Grand Old Duke of York. It's one of our favorites from class, and we have a little bit of rough play in our um, Grand Old Duke of York as well. So stay for the end for our Grand Old Duke of York and then for some more information on the classes that you have coming up this week. All right, so get your little ones, mums and dads. It's time for us to have some fun and we can get some strong arms too. Now, Puppy's gonna join me for this one. Whee! There we go, thank you, Puppy. All right, hi everybody, hi. Are you ready, beasties? Are you on your grown-ups lap? Are you ready to go? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He marched them to the left. Wow! He marched them to the right. Wow! He marched them back to the middle. And they slept all night. Oh my goodness, beasties. What? Again? No. Are you kidding? Again? Well, I guess we can do it again. Are you ready? Are you ready, my beasties? Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He marched them to the left. Are you ready for a wrestle? Woo! He marched them to the right. Woo! He marched them back to the middle and they slept all night. <gasps> Wake up, 
beasties. Are you awake? Wake up, beasties. Hi. Beasties, did you have fun? Did you have lots of fun today on this sunny Saturday morning? I hope that you've had fun burning some energy and doing some learning today with the little gym at home. And we'll hope to see you next week. We have live classes coming up on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The next class for this age group is Wednesday at 10 o'clock with Teacher Jess, and I'll be here next Saturday as well. So I hope to see you then. And my beasties, if you would like to send us a message, send it to windsor at thelittlegym.eu, and I will get back to you just as soon as we can. All right, my beasties, have an amazing day, and can't wait to see you back in the gym.